hi welcome back to my channel so in today's video i want to customize the sliders i don't want to promote the cigarette brand also i don't want to promote smoking but i got the sliders they are almost empty but they're refillable so i thought of um customizing them making them cuter and making you willing to refill them because they're cute and i got this idea from a friend shout out to that friend for giving me this idea i don't really know what to do yet so i'm just gonna go somehow blindly starting something that's just how i think i'm going to do this mm, so first one i'm gonna use this brown just cover the whole thing up no, yeah. So these are actually pieces from my previous clay uh, projects that I didn't end up using and I'm gonna use them on this one because what else are they for, right? So I play, I, I don't know, I, I just got this idea of making this, I don't know, I saw that, that on TikTok or something, someone make like eyeballs, if you want to recreate. So basically because I didn't have any specific design in head, I was just going blindly. So after making this face, I just added some texture using this texture tool I made. I have a video how I made this kind of texture tool, so it's very nice if you have something blank and you just want some texture because that will help after the painting process and you will see later. So now I'm just attaching the little pieces. And this one will be a bit more challenging because we have the circles to consider. This is basically a fidget spinner lighter and it has also a switch thing for lighter and we still want to use it, right? So somehow I have to work my way around this. I'm gonna use some glue on here and all the parts I wanted to attach. So it's easier to target it. Something like that. So if you think we work, work on one side at a time. I'm gonna use some water to smoothen it out a little bit. But in reality, it doesn't really matter since I'm gonna texture it anyway. So it doesn't have to be that smooth and everything. It's part of the unique thing. And here I came to the idea to use this colorful gemstones or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, just to add some uniqueness to the design. And later on I'm also going to put it on the first um, lighter design because it felt too empty.
so the sliders are dried now and I'm gonna start to paint them for this one I'm gonna use silver for this one I'm gonna use gold this is the plan and let's see how it goes <clears throat> so first I'm gonna mix up silver and black so we don't get that big big contrast and just slide it over the whole surface to make the texture pop And the last step, I'm just adding some clear varnish coat to protect the pieces and I'm not using clear acrylic spray paint as usual because it will made, melt the gems. I let them out to dry and then something tragic happened. I dropped this and the cap here fell off and at first I was very sad that that happened but it, give it, it gives me an opportunity to customize it even more so I have uh, epoxy clay that I already mixed up here so we can make our own customized cup and I'm just <laughs> going to mix this clay using my paint acrylic paint and this looks very messy I understand don't you worry And to give it the same metallic effect, I'm just brushing on some metallic eyeshadows because this is epoxy clay and as long as it's still sticky, you can do that. So I didn't have to paint it again. Alright, and I will be back when I'm done. So this is the final result for the customized lighters. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope it gives you some inspiration. You can remake it or redo it on your own lighters. It doesn't have to be the same design, just something you can do to make your lighter more special. See you next video. Bye!